Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're looking at Proverbs 22, verse 14 today. And this is very apropos to the society that we live in today because our sense of morality, sense of fidelity in a, in a marriage uh, seems to be wanting even in the church. We're lacking that sense of integrity when it comes to our setting boundaries uh, with those of the opposite sex. And and we've we've lowered our morals, and so we're seeing that that lower morality. We're no longer based on the word of God, but now based on what society says is is in vogue, and and uh, so that idea of, of infidelity, that uh, m- marital uh, adultery, and so forth, is is so prevalent today, and and almost seen as a a a rite of passage among some people, and it's and it's wrong. We're warned in Proverbs 22, verse 14, it says, The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. He that abhorreth of the, of, of the Lord shall fall therein. We're warned over and over again that adultery is a serious sin. There are physical and spiritual um, repercussions for those who fall therein. It behooves all of us to keep careful distance from those who are uh, of opposite sex. I know here in the church, I do not counsel anybody, uh, any woman uh, alone. My doors open. I'm not, if I'm, uh, I don't meet with uh, women in the church um, alone. I, I, you know, even while church is going, I don't meet behind closed doors with anyone uh, of the opposite sex. Um, uh, you know, uh, I just don't want not only that I, uh, someone else to have that idea. I don't want people to start talking, right? I know that's one, one fine woman in, in our church, a, a godly woman, uh, needed to tell me something. And, um, she, she asked me to, if I would close the door and I said, no, the door remains open. This is during a, a fellowship time and, no way, no way am I going to close a door and and get people talking about something like that. And um, and I know she was offended by it, but my integrity has to stay intact. I remember my old pastor used to say that, you know, because of how people talk, he says, if I saw one of my dear old ladies um, at a bus stop and it was raining outside, um, and I was driving by, he said, uh, she would get wet because I'm not stopping to pick her up. And, you know, that was kind of a humorous thing he said. I think it was a, uh, a decision he had made that uh, he's not going to have another woman in his, in his vehicle uh, lest people begin to talk. And, um, and I think just, just, just being wise, I know that uh, the Billy Graham uh, organization they have had a, had a set boundaries in place when uh, when they were on their traveling teams and how they had to conduct themselves and so forth and and, and it's just being wise it's uh, there's boundaries he says the mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit they know how to massage your ego and it, it says strange woman but it could be a strange man. It could be that guy in the office. It could be that guy on the internet. That old boyfriend you had when you were, uh, when you were in high school, and you still thinking of him as this young, good-looking, viral young uh, young man. And and, uh, and and now, 30, 40 years later, you know you're 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 remembering the past and thinking that we can rekindle those 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 sparks again. And he knows what to say to you. He knows how to be, to play up to you. And, oh, he listens to me and he does this. And listen to me, it's a lie. It's a lie. Come on. Uh, The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. And the Bible says, he that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. What's he saying here? That there is a penalty to pay if you give into that. You need to stay away. You listen, if you're in there and you're in a relationship with on on the internet and you're you're typing away and you're revealing your deepest secrets, you're 
your spouse doesn't understand you. We're, we're having arguments about this and, and, uh, you know, and this guy's just playing up to you. This girl's playing up to you. You need to shut that down now. Don't play with the fire because you will get burned. He says they know what to say. They know how to say it. They know how to play up to your ego. They need to, um, they'll do what they need to do in order to get what they want. And you know what? After they get what they want, guess what? The door is open and trouble is going to follow. There is spiritual and there's physical consequences for that sin. You need to stay away from it. You need to know yourself. You need to understand what buttons people could push to make you feel a certain way. You have to understand uh, uh, who you are and, and, and what you stand in and, and really take a realistic point of view of, of eternity. Um, you could ruin your testimony. You could ruin your child's faith in Christ all because you want your ego stroked. It's not worth it. Stay away from that guy. Stay away from that girl because trouble is coming. Nothing good is going to happen after, with that. I promise you. Certainly the word of God, even more so, guarantees it. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.